don't know. I kind of like to hear the radio on. Yeah. Really, Bill, I think we might get a new stove. The LPA will let us. This one's simply ruining your pancakes. Never gets hot enough. Uh -huh. The thing I don't understand is where the Japs got all those islands we're taking away from them. Yeah. Says here the Johnson boys in the South Pacific taking pictures. Photographic interpretation, whatever that is. Doesn't look like him. Not at all. He ought to take pictures of himself. Yeah, I bet he's having the time of his life. Remember how he used to run around with a brownie? Taking pictures of trees and clouds. He used to take some of me, too. Yeah, he's lucky. Not like me. He's doing what he likes to do instead of slaving in a factory. Boy, through the Pacific with gun and camera. Now me, I'll take the gun. He can keep his camera. Still, there must be some reason. Ah, he and his camera. What the devil does the Navy want with a camera anyway? They ought to fill it with bullets and aim it at the jack. <laughs> time as usual. Come on, get out of there. Around here we wait till the guns go off and spam them out. Well, why is it I never get the word? Haven't you heard? Those foxholes stink anyway. Funny how long a Jap can smell. Even through the gizmo, this doesn't make sense. Better have another look. You know the old man. Blair speaking, as usual. Yeah. It's for you, as usual. Sir, I'm sorry. McKay's run hasn't come through the printer yet. Yes, sir, I know. I'll, I'll do my best, sir. I'll let you know as soon as it's ready, sir. I ask you. I go out and take your pictures. I don't know why me. I'm a fighter pilot. You fellas can't even get them printed. And the phone rings and there's an air raid. And you say, as usual, nothing ever happened. Burke, how are those prints coming? They'll be ready in a minute, sir. They're in a dryer now. OK. Where lay your costly robes aside? No longer may you glory in your pride. Take leave of every corn of rain. Here they are, sir. Oh, thanks, Bert. For those I risk my life, fighting a thunderstorm because there isn't a Jap on the island. Not a Jap on the island, huh? Here's something I could really risk my life for. Not a Jap on the island. All right, have a look at that. I've flown over that island from stem to stern. There's nothing there but palm trees and mosquitoes. Yeah, sure, but look. I'm looking and all I see is palm trees. As usual. All right, now knock it off, fellas. Look, there are two patches here like this, see? Now, nobody ever made a rectangular patch except a man. Not an ant, nor a mosquito, nor anything but a man. And the color tone over here is just like the beach. So they must have been hauling coral from the beach and grading or servicing it. Oh, sure, they've started an airstrip, all right. Somebody send you a bottle from Melbourne. Look at the way these two ends are lined up, so that you get maximum length without much grading. Did you know that the wind blows from over here? Why, it's foolproof. Yeah. 
All right, McKay, you get me that stuff tomorrow and I'll prove it to you. There'll be more coral wood then. There'll be the beginnings of a dispersal strip here. There'll be... Oh, look, fella, I know that I'm right. Just get me that stuff. Did you ever try to land an airplane on a bunch of palm trees? But that's where they're smart. You can push a palm tree over with a bulldozer. They've got shallow roots. So they finish the field, knock out the trees, and we're bombed from here to Anahuito. I still think somebody sent you a bottle from Melbourne. There goes Spam Mountain, as usual. We'll grab that stuff. Get this shack fixed up. Yeah. Pizza, Candy. Hurry it up. Well, that's it. Now, where's McKay? Flying, as usual. what I've been talking about. Here's where they've been working at the center of the field, like this. And here's the dispersal strip. So now what do you think, McKay? I think I'll take a bottle from Melbourne, too. Well, thanks. Give me crocodile. No, crocodile. C-R... Well, all right, hurry it up, then. Hello, Crocodile. I want Vero. Got plenty of nickel? Hello, Vero. Give me operations. After 7 o'clock, this gets tougher. Hello, operations. This is Johnson, a photo and turf. Today's photographic coverage confirms that Jap airstrip. Yes, of course, I'm sure. No, ma'am. 
I don't know why the Navy needs cameras. Seems to me they need too darn much. Army, Navy, Air Forces, Coast Guard, it's money all the time. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Don't they know money don't grow on trees? I don't know, Bill. Maybe there's a reason. Maybe there's a lot of things we don't know anything about. Maybe they need things like cameras and film, books and paper and tin and fat and old stuff and this and that. And, well, we just don't understand why. Me, I don't believe it. Photographic interpretation. What sort of a war is that? <laughs> What you have just seen shows what one man sitting at his good Sunday breakfast at home thinks about the war. But you know otherwise. You have also seen how another man in a jungle tent from a few small pictures moved a great fleet and caused the destruction of an airfield. That airfield was Munda. And when we knocked it out, Guadalcanal was materially assisted in those days when the going was tough. But this is just one small story about naval photography. There are countless others. Everywhere from Europe to Japan, photography by reconnaissance and photo interpretation maps the way, discovers the enemy's plans, and so helps to save lives and speed victory. Photography, its interpretation and use, costs money. Make no mistake about that. Millions and millions of dollars, your dollars, go to train the skilled personnel, provide them with fine cameras, superb lenses, and all the complicated mechanisms which they require to do their job. Photography is but one of many services which support the fighting man, make his victory easier and certain. Consequently, unless you continue to purchase war bonds, these services will be harmed. The road will be longer. Men will die whose deaths are not needed. Yours remains the continuing task and privilege of lending your money so that your army and navy can bring you victory.